Hello YouTubers! This channel is all about RV living, traveling, and do-it-yourself projects. Please hit the subscribe button below. Hello Tubers! You know, dogs are like kids. They don't always tell you everything you need to know. This Peter Pan here, he invited his friend over for play day and he didn't tell me. Oh well. Today we're going to finish this battery holder and uh, the weather has been really bad. It's been in the 40s, low 40s and it has um, been raining for the last four or five days. Some of the video quality isn't the best, uh, but I did what I could do. So let's get to it. <clears throat> in fact, I even had to use a hair dryer, I mean a heat gun, to warm these uh, this plastic up just so I could glue it. Uh, it was so cold that it did not want to bond to itself. So uh, I took that heat gun and persuaded it a little bit um, I did leave these glued for about 30 to 45 minutes it is a, this is a time lapse and uh, um, I glued three sections together and let that set and then I glued the last two to those three because it takes five of these to make the 10 by 10 and uh, I did speed it up a bit, uh, so uh, you could just see how I put these together. Um, when you when you clamp them together, uh, that slippery area that you just applied the glue, they want to push up. So once I put the pressure to them, I got to hold them down long enough that the glue bites. And uh, the bottom, the, the surface that's on the bottom is the surface I'm after. It's the side that's been routed and grooved. And when you take a look at it, there is one groove that is uh, 12 centimeters wide by 3 sixteenths inches deep. And then there, right in the center of that, there's another 1 8 inch groove by 8 inch uh, deep. And that is for the bus bar. And that will be the next video uh, showing you how I built the bus bars for these. The reason I went to the trouble of routing these is that if you've seen a lot of videos of people building power walls, and including the ones I've built in the past, if these things lean over on each other, they'll short each other out. And uh, being in a motorhome that's going to be moving, I don't want any possibility of uh, uh, anything shorting uh, or vibrating. So I'm actually going to be putting a quarter inch foam between each one of these 100 cells. Now this whole process to do one side side of uh, this battery holder. Uh, in this cold, I was letting them set up for about an hour before I pull them out of the jig. And then I'd start gluing the next one. Uh, I did build a prototype, uh, and I'll show you at the end of this video what it looks like. Um, and I'm glad I did because I learned a lot from uh, when you design something, you don't anticipate everything you're going to run into. And I'm even debating that. Uh, it would be a lot less work if you uh, just cut one piece uh, 3 8 inch longer than the battery then groove each side and be a lot simpler. The batteries wouldn't have an opportunity to dissipate heat but I don't think uh, that's an issue with these batteries. Um, only pulling a half amp out of them. But I'm going to build all of these like this because I've already cut the pieces and uh, it's ready to go. So I'm going to let you watch a little bit of this and I'll join you in a second.
this video is really dark. This is what I was talking about. It got so cold outside that uh, I decided to bring this in indoors and I just don't have the lighting necessary to get a proper uh, recording. But it's good enough that you can see what I'm doing. Um, I've cut these spacers to make the overall width of this holder uh, to be 3 8 inch longer than the uh, battery, 3 16ths on each side. And it really surprised me how much stronger uh, these spacers made everything. And uh, I was worried that these uh, each half of this holder wasn't going to match up well enough to do it this way. But after I tried it, uh, everything lines up really, really well. And I'm glad I used that jig to keep everything square. And um, surprisingly, even in the warm here, that plastic uh, took longer to set than, than I'm used to. But uh, maybe I didn't bring it inside and let it warm up long enough before I started gluing on it. But um, it came out really well. I'm happy with it. And you'll see here in a second um, what it looks like with the uh, batteries in it. This next video I'm going to come out with uh, is going to be on building the uh, bus bar for uh, this holder. And it's, it's different than any I've seen, but uh, it has don't require any soldering to make the bus bar and I like that fact um, and I wish you guys would tell me what you think This weight I'm using to uh, hold this together until that, gl that uh, glue dries, I think I've showed this cell before. It's also 100 batteries in one cell, but uh, the holder for it's built with a uh, printer. The reason I've changed from using that printer and building this uh, holder is that I realized after I'd built my first battery that if any cell goes bad, there is no way to change that battery. You can cut it, you can cut the wire on it and just disable the, the bad battery, but you can't really uh, replace it without taking everything apart. With this one, you can just cut the, uh, the fuse side and the uh, ground side and slide the battery out, slide another one in, solder it up and you're back in business. I want to thank you for taking your time to watch my video and please hit the like button down below before you leave. Uh, I'm looking forward to the next time building the bus bar. Until then, check you later.